welcome back to my channel. So today I want to try out the Revolution, um, Makeup Revolution London. I guess that's like, the, the, see, I don't know. I feel like they have a lot of different names for the same brand. I don't know. I mean that, it's the cat. He hasn't visited us in a while, so. He just barges in whenever he feels like it, but he hasn't lately, so I don't know. Special appearance today. Um, anyway, so I wanted to try out this Revolution makeup palette. It's the Forever Flawless Ice Palette. And I saw this a while back and I was like on the fence, like I really wanted to try it. And I was like, oh, I don't know. But then with all the BH Cosmetics, um, palettes coming out like the bubblegum palette and then the the blueberry muffin palette yes I did buy it so if you saw my last video with the avocado toast palette I did I did I did I did get this one I haven't done a video with it yet um but anyway so I had seen this like prior to and just never got around to buying it and then when I was on Ulta looking around at the Blueberry Muffin Palette. They were having a sale on Revolution Makeup's um, palette. So it was like buy two, get one free, and they're $15 a piece. But look at that. Like, look. Look at how gorgeous this looks. Like these blues. Ah! I'm, so I finally got it, and I'm really hoping that this palette is as good as it looks. I really am. I really am. So it is, it comes in the tin. So I do like these harder tin palettes. I just feel safer with traveling with them. Um, it does have a mirror. So it's like a full size mirror in there. And then here's another look. So again, it's called the Forever Flawless Ice Palette and it was $15. So let's jump right into this. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. I'm working on like the camera because I feel like I eventually at some point during the video like look down and I have to edit out so much of like the top of my head I'm like oh my goodness so I'm working on it I'm working on it but anyway so I'm going to zoom you in and uh we're just going to jump right in I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this color climate it's a very pale um neutral color so let's see you know, I feel like I never use the mirrors in the palette. I'm not really sure why. I think it's just habit. But I am going to go ahead. I'm going to dip into that color. So a little bit. A little bit of kick up. Nothing crazy. I mean, nothing out of the norm. So let's see. I'm just going to dust that. Across the lid to lay down a little bit of color. What am I using? Um, a ColourPop E2 brush, just a fluffy, just a fluffy brush. Cut that off. Obviously, this is really close to like my skin tone. It's pale, so <laughs> putting that on there. Um, I will say, so I did a video on the Elf Cosmetics um, CC Camo. Um, cream, this, the camo, CC camo cream, whatever. I cannot talk today. I feel like that's every day I do a video. I'm like, do, do, do. I think cause I like run in here to like rush to like do it. Cause I have like a little window of time and then I get all like, do, 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 do. I don't know, whatever. Um, so I did a video on that and I did a video with the concealer and the more I use the concealer, the more I'm finding that that concealer like creases and I have wiped that and dabbed it and tried to blend it out since setting it. Can you see how it's settling into the creases? So that 16 hour creaseless nonsense ain't happening for me. So I don't really think this color is really doing anything, but because I did it to one eye, I'm going to do it to the other. Let's get into it. <sighs> I was just blowing off that kick up that it got into it was like getting crazy and it was on this color so I figured if I just blew it off it wouldn't mix in okay so I think I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this color melt and I'm gonna pick that up on this Vasanti 
It's just a fluffy, smaller fluffy brush. Pick that color up and just like, and just like dabbing it into the pan. Tap off the excess and let's see what that does. So far, I feel like that's definitely true to the color in the pan. Um, and as you can see, I'm just like stippling that on. So a couple videos ago, I had to like stipple on the eyeshadow and I was like, hey, you know, I don't know, it seemed to apply better. So, you know, this is all about learning. I don't wanna say it's like new to like makeup, but it was new to me because I'd never really stippled on an eyeshadow. I mean, I stipple on other makeup on my face, but um, I just realized that doing like colors like this, it seems to go better when I stipple it on and then blend it out ever so slight that I'm having better luck with colorful shadows that way. So and they don't come out as patchy. So I'm just gonna do that on this eye and leave it like so and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye real quick. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Morphe M124, it's just a flat brush, and I'm going to pick up, I'm gonna go into Icicle here. It's this really pretty like pale bluish turquoise, so to me like Icicle, the color melt, and here are just like variations of each other. This is just like the glittery version of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up on a brush, like so. And then I'm gonna put that right here. And that actually applied pretty <laughs> dang. That actually applied pretty well, it would just dry right on the brush. And I'm just like patting that on, packing it on. Like so, dang. why did I wait so long to get this palette? Like so far, I'm like loving this. Oh my gosh. There is some fallout, but that's to be expected. Let's see. I do just for shits and giggles. I'm gonna go ahead and wet this. So I pick some up, I put it on a, a brush and sprayed it with some setting spray. And let's just see. So and I had some still on there the other side, so I just put it on, but that's how it went on, almost um, kind of like foiling the shadow. So wetting it and putting it on. So there is a difference of the two applications of doing it just dry and then with using setting spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and build that color up on both sides with spraying it. I am super impressed with this right now, like the color payoff and the application, I'm definitely here for it, definitely, definitely. So let's see, now I think, don't let me get too ahead of myself, 
I am going to go in with this Morphe M506 brush. It's just a tapered fluffy brush. It's not super dense as you can see. And hmm, I really wanna go into Iceberg. I'm not sure it's gonna be as dark as I need it to be. So I'm just gonna go into Iceberg. It's like this pretty royal blue. I don't know, I might not wanna use this brush either, but YOLO, we're going with it. So I'm gonna put that out here. Get the frick out of town. Oh my gosh. Like what the hell are people talking about? You see how pretty that is? Shoot. Oh my God. Dang, like that. Oh, that is so pretty. I think my, my brush is a little too fluffy, so I'm gonna switch that really quick. I'm gonna go in with this Sigma pencil brush, this E30 brush. And I'm just putting that on that outer corner here and bringing it in the crease a bit. This is kind of the test to see how it goes over top. It seems to be applying pretty well over the top of those colors. So I'm gonna go back in with that first brush and just lightly blend so it's not a super harsh line between that color and the blue mm. I don't know I don't know I don't know if you can see that let me zoom in just a smidge See how it looks like it like it's not wanting to blend. It's kind of getting like mucky. Mucky looking. Like I don't want to keep rubbing it because then it's just gonna keep moving um all the color out of there. Let's see, let's see. It's a little better. It's a little better. Let's go. Let me see. I think I want to go back in with that first brush, the ColourPop brush that I had that really light color on. And I'm just going to go over the edges a bit. Now I'm going to go back in with that Vasanti brush, no extra color. Really light and just blend out the edge a little bit more. Just to soften it a bit. And then what I'm going to do is go back in with the icicle color and just pat over top. It's not wet. I didn't wet the brush. I'm just going to pat over top of where that meets up with the dark blue, the iceberg color. Just so it blends them together a bit. So it's not such a harsh line. 
between the two like you have like a a seamless contrast between them if you will it's not just like this stark straight line so so far uh so good just take your time with it take your time so let's go in with i think i'm gonna go in with this color drench it's like a minty green color and i am going to use my I don't always do this. I have like all these brushes in front of me and then I never make a decision. I'm gonna go in with my Luxie Mini Flat Angled Brush. I'm gonna pick up that color Drench. And I am going to go on the under part of my eye, but I don't know that that's going to be dark. As dark as I want it, so let's do... So it went on, it's it's definitely a little lighter, so now I'm gonna go in with, hmm, probably this Arctic, just because I wanna try it. So I'm gonna go in with that on a Royal Nine Nickel Brow BMD 510 brush. I don't know, it's just like an angled, sharp, precise brush. I'm gonna dip into that color, I'm just gonna press like I'm pressing into the color, tapping, pressing, whatever. And then I'm going to stamp along the lower lash line, about two thirds of the way in. Okay, so this brush is a little, um, probably a little too fat to do that. So I'm gonna get a more precise, um, this is a water waterline liner brush, E17 from Sigma. See how tiny it is? So I'm gonna go in with that and see if I can be a little bit more precise because I am getting more fallout. Okay, so my camera shut off yet again, and I don't know when, but I was just talking about how I had blue under here, and I was trying to um, wipe it away with a fluffy brush, and it's starting to blend in, so it, I don't want to look like I have a black eye. You don't want that. I know better, but I wasn't paying attention. So, <laughs> so I will take blame for that. Um, so anyway, you can always layer on some, some setting powder to catch that and then brush it away if you know you are getting fallout. Again, word of advice, do your face makeup last if you can. I just I have a habit of doing that and especially me for doing videos and being on a time constraint, I usually do like my face and then do what I have to do, get everybody set with what they need to do and then I run in here and do these videos. And that's typically why my makeup's always done first because it saves me time. So I really like it. I am not gonna lie, like so far, I like really am enjoying this palette. Um, I think everything went on nicely. Yeah, so I'm just going to do some mascara and do some eyeliner and I'll be right back. So that's the finished look. I just went ahead and did a winged liner with the black liquid eyeliner from The Balm. 
So I just did that and then I had this uh, Big Ego Tarte Mascara. have no idea where I got it. Um, it probably came in one of my <laughs> subscription boxes from a while back. So I'm thinking it may have been a little bit on the older side, but I had never used it. So I was like, oh, let me try that. Um, do I like it? Not really, <laughs> just being honest, not really. Uh, I mean, maybe, I don't know, not really, not really. It made me look like, I, I feel like my eyelashes look a little spidery. Yeah, I'm not a, not a fan of like the clumpy lashes. Some people are, it looks, some people can pull it off like that. It just doesn't, I don't think it looks good on me. But anyway, this palette, I am super pumped. I am bummed that it took me so long to buy it, even though I had been eyeing it for a while. So I have no idea, I have no, <laughs> I have no idea how long this palette has been out, like when it was released, when the collection came out. But I am super excited that I bought it. I think everything applied nicely, especially that icicle color. Like I was super, super impressed that it went on so nice dry, but then even better, obviously wetting it and it went on almost um, like you say foiling it, but I definitely like it. And I always feel like this eye turns out better than this eye, but I think that's just, I don't know. I don't know why that is, but I'm definitely uh, really into this palette. So now I need to put the uh, BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette to the test. So I hope if you were looking for a blue eyeshadow palette that this maybe helped you um, look towards the revolution. I know some of their palettes are hit or miss. I've heard some crappy things about some of their other palettes. I don't know. Again, I feel like they have a lot of names. So do they have like different plays on their names and have different like makeup lines come out. I don't really know. I don't really know. Cause I, I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, this is the revolution, um, makeup revolution, London forever flawless ice palette. So $15 and you get three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 shadows. And they all went on, um, pretty nice, pretty nice. And I feel like they are cruelty free. Um, yeah, it says it back on the back here. Pressed pigment. So a couple of them are the pressed pigments, five and 18. I don't know which way they're counting that. I never understand that. Like when they put the little thingies on the back here, is it like supposed to correlate as you're looking from the front to the back or is it supposed to correlate like when you're open and it's one, two, because if that was the case, it would be saying that this is a pressed pigment and I'm really thinking that's not a pressed pigment. So I don't know, maybe it's like this. Cause then that would mean this was the pressed pigment. That one and that one, I don't know. I don't know people anyway. <laughs> So if you haven't, please subscribe, um, hit the notification button because I'm very sporadic. Uh, I do this when I can. Uh, yeah. So as always, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this. Bye.